Hello boys and girls, and here's the last part of our opinion piece today. It is the conclusion. The conclusion has two parts, just like the introduction had two parts. So if your introduction had two parts in two sentences, that means your conclusion will have two parts in two sentences. So if we remember what a conclusion does, a conclusion says, what's your opinion again? And what should the reader do next? So remember, just like an introduction, a conclusion has two parts. So how many sentences are you going to write? Two. Two parts, two sentences. Remember this, my best season ever that we looked at for transition words yesterday? Well, we're going to look at the conclusion at the end. I'm going to highlight it in orange so you can see. So I wrote that the best season is winter. So my conclusion needs to tell the opinion again and tell me what you should do next. So let's see if I did that. Winter is really the best season. That's my opinion. That is how I feel. You should do many cool things in winter to see how fun it is. Well, that's what I'm telling you that you should do next. My conclusion is done. Let's take a look at another conclusion that we could write. And we want to do a conclusion about a different season. Let's pick fall. It's the season we come into school at. So remember, my opinion piece for my conclusion needs to tell what my opinion is again and then tell what to do next. So if I was writing the best season is fall, I might tell my opinion again. Fall is the best season ever. Now I have to tell you what to do next. Some of you, when you did your best animal in the world, told the reader to go look at a book or go online or go to the library to learn more about that animal. What could my reader do so they think that fall is the best season ever? They could do more fun things in fall. What else? They could go read a book about fall. They could go watch videos about fall. Could they go look at pictures too and see why fall is so beautiful? Absolutely. There are several different things that we could do next if we want the reader, and this is the most important part, we want the reader to think just like you. So what are they going to need to do next so they end up thinking just like you? Are they going to need to go read a book? about your opinion? Are they going to go watch a video? Are they going to go do fun things in your favorite season? What are they going to do next so they end up thinking just like you? So let's go over this again with my conclusion. Winter is really the best season. That's my opinion. You should, I'm going to underline those two important words, you should do what? That is what you are going to decide for your conclusion. Remember, a conclusion has two parts, so you will need two sentences. You're going to need a sentence that will allow you to say your opinion again. Then you will need a sentence to tell the reader what to do next. 
Show me what you got in your amazing conclusions.